Hi guys, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to connect MySQL to Power BI. Okay, so for that, you need the MySQL ODBC connector. So, what I need to do, I need to download MySQL ODBC connector first and I need to install this. Okay, I'm going to go here and I will uh, download the latest version. Okay, since I'm using the Windows machine, so I will click download and this will start the download process okay look it has been started now i'm going to click this uh, exe file and this is going to start the process okay now click next i accept the terms and conditions click next okay i'm going to install the typical version so i will click next this is where it will be installed click install and the installation process has been started and it is completed and I will click finish now uh, in the search bar I will type power bi desktop and I will open the power bi desktop and now I have to open it now it is it is uh, going to take some time okay it has been opened now click blank report okay now the next step is to create a source ODBC data source so are you going to search ODBC data sources click yes and you have to click system DSN afterwards you will click add and then you will click my SQL ODBC driver click finish here you're going to provide the data source name so I'm going to write my SQL underscore two power bi you can give any name here description this is optional okay uh, the the server i will have to specify the local host okay local host is the name of server user is root password is admin so admin is the password uh, that i set while installing my sql in my system okay now database is project so the project database is already created let me show you the database first okay go to my sql workbench i'm going to open this first and i will open the test connection so i have already created a connection and if if i go here the project database is already created inside this database i have few tables like department and employee let me just query the employee table here and let me uh, execute look i have this data in my employee table okay now what i need to do is test i need to test connection connection successful okay now i will click okay so the data source has been created now i'm going to use this data source here okay now what i need to do i need to go here get data and uh, i need to select more and then afterwards i will go in the other section and i will select odbc okay and i will click connect afterwards i will have to provide the data source name so just recently i have created this my sql to power bi data source name i will specify this data source name and i will click okay and then here I have to provide the username and the password. Username is by default root uh, for, for MySQL and the password is admin. So this is the password that I set while installing the MySQL in my system. Okay, I'm going to select uh, connect. I'm going to click connect and it is going to display me something. It will display me my database name so the project is my database name it has few tables and it has one view so i'm going to click the employee table and this is the table that i want to load in in power bi okay you can transform this data set if you want right now i don't want to uh, do any data transformation i want to load it as it is so click load and you will see uh, data on your left side okay 
now creating connection in model it is it is doing something okay it has been loaded successfully now look at this employee name employee and it has uh, columns like department id employee id first name hire date last name etc okay i hope you have gone through the process uh, at the end i would request you to please like uh, share and give your feedback in the form of comments thank you